Well, cow folk and not so cow folk alike. Um. We are back. And y'all know that can only mean it's time to hit the West one more time. And many, more, and many more times after that. Oh, that's the time to do. Alright, let's get him then. So, where we last left. Well, I'd been doing a good amount of grinding. And here's what we end up with. Oh, damn. Take a good look, boys and girls. Look at these stats. Look at these bonuses. Look at that melee bonus. Festus All we need is Origin. That's right. Festus going to kick some serious, serious ass tonight. As he should. Now, according to my little list here. Apparently, I found somewhere along the way that they need some help down at the saloon. Let's see just what that's all about. Howdy, right, Festus. If I can get for you? Hey, Lloyd. I uh, heard you had something interesting back there. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Hmm. Well, maybe my info's too old. I found a note from some travelers that passed through here about eight years ago. Oh! Yeah, that was the previous bartender. He had a little trick he used to offer to show people. Got him fired eventually. That center's wife was not amused. <laughs> here, you can keep the piano up for long as you don't ask me about the trick. Jesus. Well, thank you. All right. Was his name Randy? Uh, I couldn't tell you. Sure. Well, maybe, so technically, that sounds so wrong. Oi, what are we in for tonight? Well, I fixed the piano player for you. I thought so, he sounds much better. Thanks, the heat festus. I'd offer you a free room exchange, but you've already got one. <laughs> no worries, Lloyd. Well, he suggests asking at the jailhouse, so let's go to the jailhouse. Although hey, Mark, I can promise you, the shit out I can promise you, I've done everything there is to be done here. And yeah, I did. Any mailing to be done here? No mailing. Nope. No cactus lady for you. Our bill. Well, let's see. Yeah, the railroad camp. That is on our new location list. All right, so let's do this. Let's do a slight retweak in here. And yeah, okay. Well, let's do this. Well, actually the first place on our list tonight is the destroyed campsite. Well, that sounds like a lovely place. Hmm, yeah, looks destroyed. Well, we got some potted meat. Yum. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad and the slightest. Mmm. Mmm, cows. I like punching them. It may have been the person once. What a mess. <clears throat> Cows did this to a guy? I reckon so, judging from the tracks, but... Hmm. What's wrong? Something about these tracks ain't quite right. What you mean? They aren't spaced out right, and they're uneven. Okay. 
What does that mean? I'd say the cow that made these tracks was drunk. Or it wasn't a cow that made them. Hmm. Well, I suppose it would behoove us to follow the tracks. You can't see it, but I'm glaring at you. Mm-hmm. I can feel it. Uh... Well, the fork's going to follow the tracks. You think so? Well, by all means, then, mm. we follow the tracks. You know what? Or were you about to change your mind? I was. Well, shit. Ah, that's okay. Oh, well, we got a chance. Let's go the other way. I'll do it. Another campsite. Well, let's check her out. Ah, everyone's greatest fear. Well, shit. <laughs> well, I can think of only one thing to do. Hello? Now oh, we gonna kill us some clowns. Do 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 do. Bitch, I'll take it if I want it. Oh, we're gonna take yeah. it. Hi, stranger. Yeah, howdy. Y'all are long way from the circus. You know about a circus? Yeah, Barnaby Bob's traveling circus something, right? Up north. Barnaby Bob's perfectly normal traveling circus sideshow. That's the one. It's way up north, though. Now, what are you guys doing all the way down here? Camping? Oh. Uh, what you I'm, can tell camp by. What I mean is, how? why are you guys camping all the way down here so far from home? Oh, well, we're on a break, so we decided to take in the sights. What sights? This is the middle of nowhere. Nonsense! <coughs> Look at those cactuses over there. And those mountains. And, well, all this sand. Plenty of things to see. Can you tell me a bit about your circus? Eh? I thought you said you'd been. Nah, I've seen the big painted canvas walls and all, but I ain't actually been inside. So, sell me on it. Let's hear your pitch. Oh, uh, gosh, you, you're kind of putting me on the spot here. I don't handle public relations type of stuff I do. Concessions? Concessions. Ah, come on. You work at the place, don't you? Give me the scoop. Well, it's a circus, you know. There's food and games and a freak show. All that good circus stuff we love. Go on, tell me more. Will you quit bugging me? Just go see it for yourself. Tell me, God damn it! tell me. What is your deal? Are you cracked or something? I said, tell me. Tell me Look, about your circus, you circus clown. Go see it for yourself and leave me alone. Why, thank you. That's quite gracious of you. Aren't you glad we ground oh. up? <laughs> yeah. Admit one plus partner. Oh, yeah. We can't exclude her. Well, let's see if we can get any more out of him. Right. So, uh, do you know anything about that wrecked camp nearby? Somebody's camp got wrecked? Why, that's terrible. Whatever happened? Well, it uh, looks like the work of cows. Unless you think we ought to outright accuse the guy. Oh, we might as well. Oh, I think you know what happened. Well, now, I don't much care if that accusatory tone in your voice, mister. Well, well, let's see how you feel about a little frontier justice, mister. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> I think they need to die. Yeah. Kill it. Kill it with violence. Hmm. Well, let's get this fucker with a gun. <laughs> Shouldn't bring a gun to a bone fight.
<laughs> nice knife, I'm gonna take it. I can. That is the power of Festus. Power unrelenting. Ooh, a clown knife. And another tur another ticket and another new place. How about this? All right, so Danny's Tannery. Cool. Well, a three-man tent which sleeps four to clowns. That sounds right. So we got two of them. <clears throat> Well, I'd say we did all right there. Next spot on the list is that lost Dutch oven mine. Might as well take a look. A family of four wants to cross. Broad daylight and they don't need the lantern. <sighs> well. All right, so in exchange for moving the lost... Dutch oven mine up here. Another foraging spot. We really gotta get that book. Yeah, no. We might have to cross the tracks for it. And uh, hello. So mm -hmm. we need us uh, some stench resistance, do we? I believe we have something like that. Specifically, mm -hmm. them sweet smelling flowers. Which I believe are the offhand. Yes, they are. <clears throat> All right, well, let's put that back on. Ooh, lockers. Miner's pants and a gas mask. Just what does... Two armor versus three muscle. I don't find that necessary. I did a lot Gas of... Gas Yeah. Uh, good for stench resistance and sucks for everything else. And considering the fact that I... Yeah, that's just getting sold. I've already got something for 15 stench resistance. And the miner's pants. I haven't kept very much as far as gear after my big excursion with the high stats. Because, quite honestly, we don't need any special items, really, with the stats as powerful as they are. Not anymore. Nope. We ain't got to be good. Ooh, I see a spittoon. Oh, looky here, looky here. The sugar guns, not too bad, but I can do better. Speed one, not very good. So, here we go. <clears throat> I don't know what kind of tobacco these miners are chewing, but it must be extra corrosive because this brass spittoon has a hole eaten through the bottom and dark stains underneath it where the spit leaked out. Although, oddly, it don't seem to be leaking now and it's half full. I guess the miners plugged the hole with something. So, what do we do? Oh, we're looking... It's a spittoon. It's disgusting. You can practically see the stink lines coming off it. Come on, man. Let's not do this. Well, we're doing it anyway. Oh, Jesus. Fine, okay. You crouch down and take a careful look at the filthy spittoon. The inside is blackened with years worth of stains. The death broth inside has a rainbow sheen like a parking lot oil spill. And occasionally a little po bubble pops on the surface. You can actually feel a slight warmth radiating off of it from whatever dire chemical reaction has taken place in there. You realize you're holding your breath. Not deliberately, but from the human body's natural instinct for self-preservation. Look at we're breathing in anyway. <sighs> Look, man. Imagine someone made a big pot of chili con carne and left it under the porch. Three rats crawl into the pot, eat half the chili, and then die. A week later, a family of cockroaches takes up residence among the writhing maggots. 
The cockroaches smoke thick black cigars, which they light with tufts of burning human hair. That is what it smells like. Whatever. Fortunately for you, the rainbow-colored film on the surface of the liquid coats your hand as you plunge it into the toxic stew, keeping it from being immediately dissolved down to the bones. The smell intensifies, and your stomach prepares to hose the poisons off your arm with a high-pressure stream of vomit. Is this really what you want? Bitch, did I stutter? Your fingers touch something at the bottom of the spittoon. You better pull it fast while you have something to pull with. And it's the world's Run. most disgusting pair of pants out of the spittoon and jump back in the hole at the spittoon's bottom, now unplugged, begins to leak steaming filth. Congratulations, you are now the proud owner of the worst object I've ever been paid to think about, narrowly defeating a leather bondage harness made from the skin of a clown. Hooray! Somebody's got some fucking imagination. The, the writers on this are some of my favorite humans in existence. They don't even know it. Mm. Well, the pants are better and may even be a candidate for consideration, but that can wait for another time. The crowbar gets us some kerosene and some oil. And that's level one. We can use one of our many cans of oil to get down the elevator. Ah, I do enjoy that. Made veins everywhere and we are wearing the lodestone ring. That's a 20% on every meat gain we get. And thanks to that pickaxe we're carrying, and we do have a spare. Spares are always good. What in Christ's name? Hey, buddy. Uh, <laughs> you okay? Uh-huh. No, we're not going to get much out of him. Yet. do. I don't feel uneasy. You might feel uneasy. An effluvious emerald. <whistles> Not bad. That is some good meat about you. <laughs> Any other use for it? very pleased with the fact that I can't do nothing about this rock wall right now. You and me both. <sighs> well. Fine. I guess we're going to have to report back to the professor about this. Even so. Now then, while we're up here, there's something I noticed while I was grinding at Fort Aldad. This wonderful undead army? Well, that. And apparently some score toy skeletons we picked up allow us to deploy forces. Ooh. So, where do we want to send an army? I don't think we want to do that just yet. Yeah, I agree. Not yet. We don't know what we might need them for. That's true. I guess I may as well show you 
the fight that I've been doing to get so powerful. Oh, an AoE attack. <laughs> this is this is what's bad a bad sight. <laughs> Y'all seem to be having some trouble doing anything to us. This is how we won, because they couldn't do jack shit to us. This is how I gathered up so much power. That would do it. And we kept selling shit like that, which is why we got so much cash on hand. But enough of that. Next joint is the circus. We'll get back to the professor a little lighter. He'll understand. We well, he'll bring me circus peanuts. Mm. Now, I accidentally misclicked while I was grinding and got up here and saw a little cutscene. Literally just Festus and Susie talking about clowns. And speaking of clowns. Yeah, yeah, ain't that the truth. Welcome to the Barbie Bob's Perfectly Normal Clown Circus Sideshow, sir. How can I help you? I'd like to see the circus, please. Well, you can't right place then, <laughs> But if you want to get inside, you ticket. I just so happen to have a couple. What? How did you? Great. Good for you, sir. I'll just take that and stamp your hand for re-entry. There we go. Enjoy the show. And yeah, what about my partner? Partners get him for free. Well, thanks. Well, let's go. So it's a carnival with clowns. Let's not split hairs. Agreed. Well, here we go. Let's see what's around from left to right. Rubber toy balloons. Howdy there, fella. Interest you in a toy balloon? How much are they? For you, just 30 meat. And yes, they all float. Yeah, what colors do you have? Oh, well, let's take a look. Uh... <laughs> red. They're all red. Well, how do you make them float like that? Well, there's nothing to it. Heck, they all float around here. Uh -huh. Of course. Well, what all the right, hell? So let's, what the hell? Let's see what they do. So, uh... All right, then. Here you go. So, uh, Balloon. can you tell me more about your circus? Really, it's more of a carnival, but that's not what hairs. <laughs> what would you like to know? Uh, what are your traveling plans? I haven't decided yet. That's why we sit down somewhere a bit more rural. Keeps things relatively quiet while we scout around with the lay of the land and all. <laughs> so where'd you travel from? Was your previous stop interesting? Oh, northwestish, a little hole in the ground kind of place. You haven't, you wouldn't have heard of it. I see. But why is everyone working here a clown? Oh, it's traditional. When the what do you call them? Rodeos stopped being put on. These the rodeo clowns took other jobs at circuses and carnivals. Over the years, just became the normal thing for carnies to be clowns. It's a community, you might say. All right. Well, uh, who's this Barnaby Bob feller? Oh, the boss is a real famous showman, though I'm not surprised you wouldn't have heard of him around here. Got an eye like a hawk, and he's a real whiz with those knives of his. 
Don't miss his show. It's the real highlight of the carnival. All right, well, see you around, clown. Catch you later, like an alligator. <laughs> well, minor loss of money, but that's okay. We're fine. All right, so we got all that already. Nothing new. Let's move on. So, the hammer game. I play games like these before in my youth. Well, howdy there, fellow. Like, you've got a good arm on you. Here's a game that's right up your alley. What's the game? Simple as can be. Just take this big mound here and hit the lever under that bell. Ring the bell and you win. What's the prize? A ticket to Barnum and Bob's stage show, which otherwise sold out, so it's a rare catch, my friend. All right, then. Let's do it. <clears throat> oh, wow. Well, but I'll be. That's some genuine muscle you've got on you, fella. Looks like you're a winner. Shall we start in Zoom, so don't miss it. Thanks. 30 muscle. Hit something hard, that's what we specialize yep. in. You okay, kid? Did you lose your parents? I lost my lucky bottle cap. You haven't seen it, have you, sir? Nah, but I'll keep an eye out. What's it look like? It's shiny steel on top of a little chain. Alright, kiddo, I'll let you know if I find it. Greetings and salutations, fellow. This is a game designed to test your intelligence, capacity, for abstract thought, and... Ah, well, if you care to try your luck, far be it from me to obstruct you. What's the game? The simplest guessing game imaginable. I've got a standard deck of playing cards here. I'll show you all the faces, and then I turn back over and start picking cards. You guess what cards I pick, and you win. You don't shuffle them? No, sir. If you can memorize a deck of cards that fast, more power to you. Or if you've got a touch of magic in you and just want to try reading my mind, that's fine, too. Just don't dig too deep. <laughs> What's the prize? Ticket to Barn Bob Station. Yeah, show, yeah, yeah, yeah. Song. I'll I'll go for it. Let's see what we got. My mind to your mind. My thoughts to your thoughts. That, sir, is so remarkable as to be practically frightening. Looks like we have a winner. Hmm. I see you've already got a ticket to Barn Bob show, though. Those are the one more per matron. Let me give your order our other grand prize. Nate. What does it get us the second time around? And how about this time? Oh. All right. Howdy there, fellow. What we have here is a game for sharp eyes and quick reflexes. Hope you don't take that as an insult. I suggest one of the other games might be more your speed, but you're welcome to try your luck all the same. None taken. What's the game? Well, on the wall behind me for a bunch of thick-skinned, underinflated balloons. Pretend me I'll loan you a cheap, inaccurate pistol on a pile of badly made ammunition, and your goal is to pop as many of those balloons as you can before the pistol stops working. That's an unusually honest-sounding description. I discovered making the challenge sound exactly as difficult as it is, only making it more determined to be the one who beats it. Not that I don't already know the answer to this, but what surprise? Yeah, okay, yeah, let's go. Know. Let's do Shoot this. Jaguar. Amazing. Hmm. Well, I'll be. Looks like you win. Congratulations on the finest shooting I've seen in quite a time. Well, thank you. And thanks for the kid. Yeah, really. Damn, those are good. Yeah. Definitely I'll tell you those. what. I'll tell you what, though. I'll take the plush bear over the porcelain cow. No question. All right. 
I don't want to take to the main stage just yet. Condemned until further notice. Encourage anyone suffering from horse bites to consult a doctor. I mean, it's good advice. Hmm. So, uh, what you got in there? Secrets, mysteries, things too weird and disturbing to be witnessed by the light of day. Freaks. Not just freaks. Well, gosh, how much does it cost? For you, three hundred me. And for everyone else, three hundred me. All right. You won't be disappointed in the event that you are. Here he comes. Well, all right then. <clears throat> Come on in. Take your time. Have a good look around. Just remember, no touching. All right. So, what have we got here? <laughs> By the way, this place in its entirety freaked Kuro out big time. I'm sure. Oh. Ah, one of them. And one of those mirrors as well. Very good. <sighs> Howdy, fellow. Welcome to the sideshow. Thanks. But what's to say in here? Well, down below we have a collection of spooky warp mirrors. Right here we have exhibits of clown eggs and pickle punks. And further down on the right is our freak show. Feel free to explore and I'll be here if you've got any questions. Yeah, uh, what's with those weird mirrors? Ain't they right? That's what they call an optical illusion, as I understand it. That's to do with the way the light reflects off of them. I am 100% sure that what I saw can't be explained by the reflection of light. No telling what you might see if you look too long. Uh-huh. About these, uh, people. You mean the freaks? Ain't they a scream? The one with the giant eyeball head is my favorite. Nice, quiet fellow. Uh-huh. If you have a question about the other two, feel free to ask them personally. I wouldn't mind me telling tales out of school. Since the eye guy can't talk, though, you can ask me about him if you want. All right. What can you tell me about him? Not much, I'm afraid, to be honest. He joined us, oh, about a year ago, maybe a little less. Where'd he come from? No idea. Weird, ain't it? You think... Fellow looks like that, you'd have read about him in all papers, right? I mean, yeah. Sure is mysterious. Well, how did he get like that? Couldn't tell you. Oh, come on. I bet you got a theory, at least. Mm, well, maybe he saw something no human fella should ever see. Yeah, okay. What can you tell me about these, uh, these eggs? That's a traditional clown thing. There's a placard next to, there next to him that explains in detail. Don't get too close, please. They're fragile. If you say so. Now, what are these uh, things in the jars? That's what we call them in business. We in the business called pickled punks. A menagerie of strange and twisted creatures such as you've never seen before. Before seeing the lack, caption observed and on display for your entertainment and edification. That's how the boss says it. They real? As real as they come. Mm hmm. Paint their chosen makeup pattern onto an eggshell. Hmm. All right. Hey, the back, please. No touching. Sorry. No touching. A three-headed kitten, a ferret with eight legs, a twisted Mobius loop of snake. Hoy. <laughs> Look at this. Gah! <laughs> Got you pretty good there, buddy. What the? What the fuck is that? It ain't a real critter. It's made of rubber and clay and doll parts and such. Got an electromagnet under the shelf to move it with. Should have seen your face. You got jumped right out of your boots. God damn it. 
Uh, hello there. I'm Festus. How's it going? Can you talk? Uh, I guess not. Mm-hmm. Shriveled vestigial remains of a human head. So, uh, the circus gig. How do you like it? I see. Uh, understand what you mean. Do you, do you blink? Or wink? Nah? Alright, well, see you around. Were you born that way? I mean, I guess it's a pretty personal question. Hello there. Welcome to the Zod Show. My name is Douglas. Howdy. I'm Festus. Delighted to meet you. So how do we ask this? Mm. Straight or not so straight? Give it to him straight. So what's your deal? Why am I in a side show, you mean? Yeah, I mean, you seem perfectly normal. How forthright of you? Of course, it's only natural to wonder. Hey, wait a minute. You just said that last bit without moving your lips. Are you a ventriloquist? <coughs> Not at all. Allow me to demonstrate. What the f... Ta-da! Uh, but what what in the... Surprising, yes? A bit, yeah. How is that even possible? Are oh. you... What's the phrase? Siamese twins? Not exactly. It is difficult to describe, I'm afraid. Two minds in one body? With two faces? It'd be closer to the truth to say two instances of the same mind. With, as you say, two faces. Yeah, I see. That don't make any sense at all. It took some getting used to. That much is quite certain. So, were you born like this? I would rather not discuss how I came to be this way, if you don't mind. Ah, uh, sorry. No apology necessary. But your knees must be a wreck. Surgery was necessary to permit them to bend in both directions. It sounds worse than it feels, I assure you. Hmm. So why are you in a slideshow? With a regular suit and haircut, I mean, you could easily pass for normal. I have a contract. Plus, well, it's quite the life, you know. Free from board, travel the world, and you meet such interesting people. I guess you do. Well, talk to you later, Douglas. Uh, hello. Hello there. Enjoying the carnival? Well, it's, uh, interesting. Yes, I'm sure it is. Uh, can I ask you something? Certainly. What's your name? I'm Janet, and you? I'm Festus. Uh, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Festus. Uh, so why are you in a box? That's a rather personal question, isn't it? Oh, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh... I was only teasing, dear. Would you like to see inside? Uh, sure. <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> uh, what do we think? It's kind of amazing. It's amazing. Well, I'll take that as a compliment. It's certainly educational, I imagine. A larger tank on my stomach, if you'd like to see what I had for lunch today. Yeah, let's check it out. Oh. Oh, nice. So how did this happen? Were you in some kind of terrible accident? I'm sorry, but I can't talk about that. Of course, I'm sorry. It must be a painful memory. Yes. Well, thanks for the perk. It was nice to meet you, Janet. So long. Good luck, Festus. That's plus three melee damage. Nice. Which means we're even more powerful. Looking. As if we needed it. Yeah.
That's pretty incredible. So what are the hot food and lost and found, eh? Howdy, sir. Interest you in a hot foot long sausage? How much? You want to the meat with your choice of condiments. Uh, what are the condiments? Got onions, pickle rest, relish, three kinds of mustard, and two kinds of ketchup. Uh, what kinds of mustard? Brown, yellow, and blue. Blue? Blue mustard? Ah, uh, looks like I'm all out of blue, sorry. What about the ketchup? Yep, got both ketchup and ketchup. Why not? Huh. Well, uh, thank you. <clears throat> well, that's, uh, rather disappointing stat-wise. Yep. Oh, well. We've been doing good enough on money, and we got that ring to help us out. That is true. So, what are they made of? What do you mean? They're pork. What else do you make a sausage out of? Regular pork or long pork? Mm. Uh, sure, I don't know what you're implying, sir. I was uh, wondering if you had a vegetarian option. Mister, this is a carnival, not an herbal. You've been saving that one up, haven't you? For years. Thank you, sir. Are they actually a foot long? 12 inches? Because a lot of guys say that, but... I'm just going to stop right there seeing as there's ladies and children present. Want one or not? Actually, I'd much prefer to see the lost and found. Oh, sure thing. What'd you lose? A lucky bottle cap. Here's your luck. This one yours? Mm. Ooh, yeah. I can take all. Yep, that's the one. Yep. Thanks. No problem, sir. <laughs> We're going to steal some stuff. Hell yeah. Listen, we lost a lot of shit, okay? Yeah. We're, we're very forgetful. This is real dishonest of us. Oh, well. <laughs> what, you figure and see if I had anything you like. Look, there's no such thing as an honest thief. You gotta pick one or the other. <laughs> so, what all did we just... Oh yeah, this is how many salts I'm carrying. Hmm. <laughs> well, first let's get the... Lock it back let's to the queue. Look at little Timmy, his pocket. Little Bobcats back. Yeah, let's do the right and honorable thing. Hi, sir. Did you find my lucky bottle cap? Is this the one? That's it. Thank you, sir. No problem, kiddo. Hello again, sir. That's a real nice balloon. You want to trade? I'll give my lucky bottle cap for it. Sure. Thanks again, sir. Oh, right. well. Let's see about the cold drinks. Hi, <clears throat> Blair. Care to treat yourself to a nice cold soft drink? Uh, you said you're selling them in bottles? That's right. Well, uh, what kind there you got? There we go. Got the newfangled crown cork bottle caps and all. What kind you got? I've got root beer, ginger beer, and sarsaparilla. Uh, how about orange cream? Nope. Celery? Nope. Energy drinks? Nope. Snozzleberry? Nope. Grape? Fuck you. 
Hmm. Nope. Uh, what kinds have you got again? Root beer, ginger beer, and sarsaparilla. All right. Do you make the drinks yourself? You're asking if we have a wagon dedicated to brewing and bottling three different kinds of sodas in our traveling carnival? No. We stock up as we pass through large towns. Ah. Well, how much? 205 meat. 205. It's for the deposit on the bottle. I see. All right, I'll try one. Root beer, ginger beer, or sarsaparilla. Well, let's try that root beer. Here you go. Enjoy. Uh, not the correct drink. At least not for what I wanted. And quite frankly, I'm under the belief that they're all going to be three of whatever stat they are, and that's not quite worth it to me. Not at this point. No. Okay, root beer is the best of the bunch anyway. Hmm. there, fella. Interesting. A toy balloon? I already fell for that trick once, but I wonder if there's another kid somewhere who might use one. I feel like it's an investment Nobody. that's... I feel like it's an investment that's worth it. Oh. Let's have one. Uh, now hold on. And weren't you on the other side of the midway just now? Nope, that was still a balloon guy. He was dressed like and he was the same face face. Did he fool you? Wait, wait, my punch? S sure, yeah, all right. And what about this tepid candy? <laughs> step right up, fellas. Step up and try one of the world's newest candy sensations. What is it? Cotton candy, the finest, in several senses of the word, fun sugar created through a revolutionary new process. It's so light and sweet and fluffy it's like eating butterfly dreams and kitten wishes. So it isn't actually made of cotton? What? No, cotton is indigestible no matter how much chocolate you cover it with. You found that out the hard way, did you? I can't uh, whistle. All right. So how do you make it? This little machine right here. Can't tell you how it works as much as I like to brag. It's a trade secret. You invented it? Not as such. A couple dentists down south of the first ones. Dentists! Go figure! But after hearing about it, I managed to figure out how it works. Made a few improvements with my design, too. Now I'm really curious. Sorry, fellas. The secrets in this box are for nobody's eyes but my own. I'll be happy to help sell you some cotton candy, though. Ah, uh, fine. How much? Just 300 meat. What the hell? I've already dumped plenty of life savings into this. Alrighty. Hmm. Well, uh, thank you. What the hell does this do for us? Speed. Well, of course it does. It sugars us the fuck up. Alright. All that's left now is the main show. They show it till later. When? Later. When? Later. <sighs> Whatever, man. Jesus. Uh, let's do some research on the main stage. I want to know exactly when this show is supposed to be because I won my ticket for it fair and fucking square. We a circus show ticket. Which we got. And a clown attention value of at least three. Uh, what else do we need? A clown suspicion level of value of at least three. Uh, ways to get it. Uh, easiest ways are asking the hot dog vendor about long pork, which we did. Yeah. Discover the awful secret about cotton candy. Don't know how we do that. Hmm. Uh, each time we examine the clown eggs, or expose the balloon vendors as being the same clown.
You know what? This ain't worth my time. Well, that's that, I suppose. All right. And we just caught on to the tannery, which is way down south here. Oh. Oh. The remains of an antique traffic accident. Fascinating. Well, there's nothing here on the outside. Ghostly fighting. <coughs> Possessed skins of cows. As you do. They ain't noticed us yet. He it right back. All right, let's go. <laughs> oh, this ain't gonna be that bad. Oh. <laughs> buddy, right. him. buddy, you just saw what I did to the ghost. As much as I'd loved as much as I'd love to do that much damage, I'm sure I could find better uses for that bullet. Oh yeah. Leather shears. Nope. No good. Jesus. Lie, lime, and manure. Let's get to it. <laughs> Whacking time. <laughs> and I'm and I'm sure you assholes wanna go. Alright, you wanna get froggy? <laughs> Why would you challenge somebody so much stronger than you? What do you Were think? Were our stomping attacks doing enough damage? Was that? <laughs> Were our stomping attack actually take them a lot at this point, or is it not that strong? Uh, it not ain't that, that strong. strong. Nah. But mm. I can do this. Susie, <laughs> bang bang. <laughs> Oh, 
All right. Another varmint. Sure we already have one of those. Yep. And this we don't need to carry a spare for, so that's going to get sold later. So now that we got a key to the back door. Let's go open. <laughs> I mean, maybe I could, but I'd much rather fight. Hey, who the hell are you? Uh, Candy Graham? Oh, uh, shit. Now's your chance! Get him! Uh, don't think it matters. Uh, uh, screw that. Let's get rid of the ungulates first. <laughs> well, you're on your own, cow. <laughs> I'm gonna make hamburger helper out of you. <laughs> Curse your sudden but never the crazy. The hell makes you think I'm afraid of you? They're clowns. Well, obviously. <laughs> Take your one shot, buddy. You only that get one shot. You only get one shot. And you missed mom's spaghetti. Oh. I wonder if there's a key for this. Gotta be. Well, I'm gonna do some looking around. See if I get lucky and actually found one. Well, look at that. One of the boys had a key on him. I wonder if it's the key. Yeah. Uh, hello? Who the hell are you? Are you Dan? Uh, hello? Oh, thank God, you're not one of those horrible clowns. Nope, I'm Festus. Festus Walker. I'm Grady Tanner. It's a good thing you arrived. I couldn't have held out much longer. Are you actually a Tanner, or is that just your surname? Well, both. So what are you doing in here? Hiding. Why are you hiding in here? I don't want to die. <sighs> Look, what's your story, man? Well, I was scattered in for tanning materials. Cows bane ain't as easy to get a hold of as it was back in the old days. But while I was searching, those cows showed up, and those and those clowns showed up, so I locked myself in here to hide. Uh, what exactly is cow bane? It's an herb used for tanning leather. You can't grow it in large batches anymore because cows show up and wreck the place, so there's other stuff we generally use for pig leather and so on. It's not as good, though. So you got cows wrecking your herb gardens? <coughs> yeah, if you're growing more than about a flower pot's worth, they get wind of it for now. Wait for them. I think why. Here, I have a few extra seeds you can have. Be careful. Yeah, thanks. So, uh, how long have you been here? Three or four days. I'm starving. Cow bane's poisonous, so I've been chewing on this old leather hat for sustenance. Seriously? Yep. What's up? No. But I did take care of the clowns and the cows for you, so consider yourself rescued. Wonderful, thank you. As soon as I get a new shop set up, you can count on me for any other goods you need and first ones on the house. Um, you wouldn't happen to know where I might set up a new shop, would you? What happened to your old shop? Care to guess? Cows. Yep. Well, there's an empty lot in dirt water you could probably use. Great, I'll head right there. Thanks a million, partner. I owe you one. Yeah, sure thing.
And a magic crate. Shit. I wonder what we can do with that. Hmm. I'll look it up. Well, while you're doing that, there's a few things I can do right now. First one will be I'm going to check out the new occupancy in dirt water. Grady's Fine Leather Goods. Hi there, Festus. Welcome to my shop. Well, it looks like you've gotten yourself set up pretty nice. Sure have. Here, let me give you a little something as thanks for helping me out. I have a sharpening strop on the house. Hey, thanks, man. So, uh, what you got? Nice. Hmm. Now let me see what exactly that strop does. Nice. So our thigh is stronger. Oh, that's good. And as compared to the kneeling pants. I do want these chaps. Does it take a little bit of muscle off, but they give me a little bit more... Do they give... Yeah, they give me a little bit more damage. I don't mind that. So let's swap them for that. All right, now let's do a little quick selling. Uh, what did you find out about the... Uh, so the seeds have two options. Mm -hmm. One, you can sell them for a thousand meat to Barney, Bo Barney Bob at the meat circus. All right. Once we get through all that. And two. Or it can be converted into a bale of cow's bane, which is very important for a side quest. Or sorry, right. we use them to make the bale of cow's bane, and that can be sold for a thousand meat. All right, I'll hang on to them. <clears throat> can you research the balloon in case there is any further use for them? Nope. Hmm. Uh, quick research on can of kerosene in case there are any uh, outer uses for them. Used to fuel the generator as part of getting the elevator working at deepest valve mine or in combat reduces <coughs> opponent's muscle physicality and moxie by five. I'd better hang on. Them I'd better hang on to that kerosene then. Uh, the clown knife, we have a stronger melee weapon than that. The clown sausage, I have much better food. Much better food. Uh, remind me again about the cow fangs. Cow fangs. Um, can be used to craft fang gloves, which apply five poison to enemies, plus deal 13 to 17 damage. 
That's some good cow puns. That required and shit. Uh, leather two, leather workery level two. Uh, we'll get it eventually. Breast rancher candy is fine. I'm perfectly all right with selling this for five hundred. Owens. Oh shit, we have six hundred and sixty-six in there. Mm. Joy. And then a sixty-nine because next. Sixty-nine, haha. I am gonna keep these in case we need uh, some healing insurance. Fungicide bombs have use. The gas mask is utterly useless to us up against the sweet smelling flowers. Uh, the hanky is useless. Mm. I have better. S well, at the moment, actually, I don't know if I do. So I'll keep them for now. Made a decision against that. The shears are inferior. The cap is. Can you check the uh, lucky cap? Lucky cap? <sighs> Nothing. All right. Sell it. Yep. Keeping both pickaxes because I need a spare in case I hit another big meteor. That potted meat's pretty good. So is the ranch punch. I don't really have any further uses for the cow tongue. The root beer isn't all that good. The soda crackers are weak. Spit soaked pants are no good compared to the chaps we just got. Sugar guns, no thank you. We only need one of those skin and knives. True. Excellent. That's good for now. All right. So that was a little bit helpful. I do believe the tannery is useless to us from here on. I believe so. Now at this point, it does seem to me like there's a new location to be found if we go back to All Dead and make the deployment to that location that's not actually on our map. Could be. Uh, a matchlock rifle hunter. Do we intimidate or do we go after him? Beat him up. Mm hmm. Beat him up. Yep. Worked so far. Ah, <laughs> beat you with bone. Never bring gun to a knife fight or a bone fight. Cargo jeans are going to get sold. It's time. I have not seen Gustafsson Gulch show up on our map yet, and I would like to know. Are you in agreement? What do you think? So yeah. All right. Let's see about revealing us. Tomorrow is going to be a big day for the Gulch Goblins. Well, I'll make a note of that for when we sleep. Sleep for location reveal. And now we got to report back to the professor. Mac as well. Good see 
again. Have you had a chance to take the keystones or lock stuff from mine? Look for the unusual pile of rocks. You can always make a keystone or five more El Vibrato scrap in that machine over there. All right. Well, in that case, I guess I uh, didn't have a keystone and that was the problem before. So let's rectify that so. right now by heading back to the mine. Hup, hup, ho! Nice! Alright, uh, quick equipment. Oh, the sweet smell of flowers. And put the bear back on. We got some choices. What do we do? It's moving by hand. We sure moved them. <laughs> oh, hello. Might as well go in. Nice. All right, I'm getting a little tired of that piano music. Well, that's much better. Ah, oh, shit. No cold crow, pacha, no knock. Zevasom Cholacho Pujazev. Same to you and your mother. Hmm. Well, this here requires a battery. And Man, why couldn't we just punch it? That's another keystone. Alright, so. So, where are we here? The Lost Dutch Oven Mine. We appear to need two battery. One keystone. Womp. Okay. Guess that. <laughs> so, uh, how'd that work out for you, boys? Uh, well, the last couple people. Not as good grinded as all dead. Anybody else feeling feisty? 
Eh, it seems to me that this is infinite uh, stuff there. All right. An L vibrato loop does what? And the other. <laughs> Oh, I see. Let's break it. It's no good to us as it is now. The professor's going to want to see that. Skeleton train robbers. They are so unbelievably far beneath us now. We're just slightly below the point of doing a stop attack just to get rid of them. Uh-huh. What do you think of this guy, Susie? I think that fella spends a little too much time on his own and starts to get funny ideas. You think he's nuts? Well, I would have done another hand that bleeping gizmo you found that led us here and lent a fair bit of credence to his story. Also, he's nutty and squirrel shit. Hmm. Well, thanks, Susie. Helpful. Well, we have gotten that. Oh, did you find anything interesting? Hey, Professor, I found a, uh, a thing. Great, let's see! Ah, a marvelous find. This device makes batteries. Oh, then once I fixed it. Batteries? Yup. The Elder Brother is powered by portable equipment with little electric models. Like the one I put in the transponder. I'm sure I don't have to tell you, a regular source of those would be incredibly useful. Now, I, I totally forget, but who did I say this sounded like? Uh. Who were the vibes the, that... Dr. Scratch and Sniff. Oh, that's right. Scratch and Sniff. Ah, Scratch and Sniff. Well, we do need two batteries. Back at that mine. Beep, boop. Matter of fact... It would be good to have a couple spares of things. <clears throat> now then... With these batteries. <clears throat> Back to the mine. We still got work to do. Okay. And switch flowers. And switch bear. we do something with him now? No? Okay. My new sound effect for him will be... Is that all, folks? Adjustment pipeline. So as we learn well, these words, by the way, they translate back to English. Oh, good. Okay. All right, so the door's open.
Ugh. Burning like a kitten, Captain. I've heard that sound. Sounds right. Hmm. That must mean door open and door closed. Or something near that effect. I'm hmm. saying it's probably close enough. Hmm. All right. So I seem to have done what needed done there. Um, looking up my list one more time because the next thing to be done is the railroad camp. Uh, can you research the glass sphere? I need a reminder on glass that. Sphere. Yes, glass sphere. Plus 10% item finding bonus. Hmm, okay. Well, never mind that at this point. Let's head for the rail camp. Another grave. <clears throat> Alright, well, let's uh, do some checking out. Say, uh, that's a nice watch. Where'd you get it? Buttons, gal, what runs the door down top of here? Name a button willow. Button willow mix, mix something. Uh, yeah, I know that store. McKittrick. Yep, real nice store. Real nice watch. She's not getting laid much, but she's an expert whistler. <clears throat> Well. Ah, you in charge? I was wondering if there was anything I could do to help. You want to know something? I love trains. Oh? Ever since I was a little boy, huge, magnificent, roaring iron beasts. They were massive to me like dragons. When the opportunity arose to take on the management of this rail line, I jumped on like a shot. And you know what I learned? What's that? Organizing and building and running one of these operations is the most amazing pain in the ass you will ever imagine. Want to help? Congratulations, you're the new foreman. I'm going home and play with my mom. Uh, now hold on a second there. I didn't mean... Hey, no. Get back oh. here. Hey. <laughs> well, shit. I, uh, guess I'm the boss now. Well, not supposed to get worse than, any worse than that last clown. Name's Smee. I'm your assistant. He was hooked. What's the situation, <laughs> Mr. Smee? Well, I'm sure you didn't miss seeing this giant pile of rocks blocking our path. The surveyor say there isn't any other suitable mountain pass, so we can't reroute around it even if we had months to take. Any ideas? Well, by my calculations, we could dynamite it clear without too much trouble. Problem is, it'll take a lot of dynamite. A whole year's worth, I figure. We used to keep that much on hand for emergencies just as, such as this one, but a pack of goblins stole it all. Speaking of alarms. Well, as it just so <laughs> happens, I got some back for you. What did you hear? The goblins are holed up over in Gustafsson Red. Gustafsson Gulch. It's a real rough place. Not want to spend some time getting lay of land and holding your fighting skills before you head that way. Especially if you plan to go in guns blazing. First of all, buddy, you have no idea how much honing we've done. And second of all, I'm not one for guns. Guns are for the weak. 
We don't need that specific dynamite, though. And you can lay your hands on it, be fine. As long as we're enough of it. I'll look into it. And well, finally, your supply of dynamite, the passengers are getting restless. Like I said, I had it the whole time. Good. Perfect. This will do the trick just fine. I'm back for a bit while I get the fellas to set up the charge, and I'll let you do the honors. All right. Let her rip. Uh, how do we handle this? Kaboom. Sweet. We'll actually do that in just a moment. First, we got that Gustafsson Gulch we just sicked our creatures on. So, let's check that out. And what can we find? Hi, hello, being the mayor. Welcome. Now, go away, please. Talk. I like it already. Kill him. What's the, what's the call? Talk or fight? Yeah, I'm all for overthrowing crappy government, so talk to the goblin is not not fighting. Yeah, you broke up. You said talking to the goblin is uh, no good. Is not an option. Let's right. beat him up. Fine, let's get him. Goodbye, your holy holiness. Gulch oysters. <laughs> well, <let's do> it. <laughs> uh, it's too bad. Mm. Let's just go down them. Unless you have a preference. Right. Nope, let's do it. So very complicated numbers. How to bird noise. And Alice going into a seeing glass. It brillig being and toves of slithing did in a wave gyring and also gimbling. That's enough. Yep. Lock pick. Oh. Yes. Hell no. Selling that. Well, let's go in order of severity. What's that? Yeah. Let's go in order of severity. A gulch goblin lollipop. A goblin sandwich. Goblin trousers. All right, that's good. Nope. Nope. I don't deal in the goblin stat producing shit. Yeah. Ooh. Hey, break it up. Oh, we're going to break you up anyway. Oh, uh, that's too bad. Come. Yep. Let me take a night. Investigate the outdoors by leaving. I like that. <clears throat> I do. But we're not doing that yet. Nope. Important secrets. Okay, so let's write that down. 
Gustav, Sun, Gulch. Uh, Gesund. Six nine one zero five. All right. One of these is the storage hut, I'm sure. Yeah. Hamlet in Goblin Tongue. Backstage entrance here at being. Do we go backstage first, or do we, uh, or do we stop the show? Let's head backstage first. Oh. <laughs> Can, can you... Alright. To so being or not to being? Oh, that is a question. Could it be... Could it better thinking to suffering at crazy things and arrows? Or fighting so many bad things for stopping them because fighting? Dying to sleeping to sleeping, hey! Dreaming maybe, but... Oh, problems! If dreaming crazy when living, what dreams having has to die? Wow, pretty weird, probably. Wow. Those were those were some words. Yes, they were. Uh, well, I guess they're going to get to live today. Lockpick. A cafe. Chicory. Nope. Yeah, I don't want these, these goblin trade-offs. Yeah, I think not. Well, yes. we can throw in one of those fungicide bombs, or we can do it the old-fashioned way. Ah, let's go back the old-fashioned way. That's the best you got. It sucks to be Their uh... best were pathetic. Well, we got us the treasure cave key. And what's this other stuff? Oh, that's a terrible trade. Up. Oh. Trade in the key for foraging. That's... What the hell? Oh... That's a form of evil right there, don't you think? Oh, it is. Do, do, we, it. do we perpetrate it or do we kill them? Oh no, let's really do psychological damage. <laughs> hey! Goblet, good book. What thinking about how Goratio is the only his only surviving one at the end? Everyone else dying, poisoning, sorting, pow, blam. Ah, no! Wow, spoiler. Oh, the books we read. That's the key. All right. Oh, let's let's do this. Fight him or bird call? Oh, let's continue the torture. Continue the torture? Oh, yeah. Uh, apparently that is not torture. Okay. Panic or pain? Oh, in this case, burn the shit out of me. Uh, This time it's just enough. Oh, wow. Wow. Ooh. More dynamite. 
Now, do we have any further use for the year's supply of dynamite in practicum, aside from uh, to blow up the train tracks? Look up year's supply of dynamite. It gives you 52 dynamite when you open it. That's the only other use for it? All yeah. Right. Okay, then here's what we're going to do. I'm going to wait until I am positive and blow up the rail blocker. Uh, rattlesnake nest. Look at those HP numbers. This is pathetic. Yeah, so what? Now, let's do the thing. Kaboom! Ha! <laughs> what are you waiting for? Fourth of July? Oh my god. Golem! What's the call set? Polarized. It wouldn't be a fair fight anyway. True. <laughs> Hell yeah. Welcome to the gun show. Well now, that is as fun a day's work as I've ever seen. Much obliged, friend. We'll be getting the rest of this track laid down and head out now. Here, I'll mark our route on the map for you in case our paths happen to cross again. Thanks, but uh, can't I just ride the train? Got a ticket. Uh... I'm just kidding. Of course you don't. Every seat on this train is sold out. Sorry, boss. <sighs> All right. Well, with that, we can fly to the next camp, and we've still got a decent amount of time to continue. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's head for the next rail camp. Actually, let's not. Let's go beat some cows up. Mm-hmm. So... Yeah, we're gonna go right to the Hellstrom Ranch. All right, so let me break this line right there. So Hellstrom Ranch. And the railroad camp is completed. And da, 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 da. okay. So let's see what we got around. A plot hole. Yes, I see. That first things first. Another needle. Yeah, water will find. How many we got? Oh, more than enough. Your supply. Yes, sir. And actually, speaking of which, let's deploy the year supply of dynamite. Look at this. That's beautiful. Burned leather work and manual. This seems important. Leather worker A. And we tear apart for extra leather. How about that? Right. Look at all this unspent XP we got. Let's see just, well see just how far we can drive it. All the way and only for only for 400. 
Nice. Make some really, really seriously enchanted leather boots. Mm hmm. Hmm. Let's get us a little bit of boost here. Yeah. Mr. Kaladin needs the most help. Now, what's that get us? So the next grit will give us a little more pain tolerance, which will be good for plus three on everything for anger. More speed coming up next there. And more meat gains and more item finding up next there. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. So, so the Hellstrom Ranch is our leather working station. What can we do out of the shit we got? Very good. Check this out. Well, there's our nail gloves. Hmm. Well, <clears throat> let's take a look at what we got right now. The hat's good. I suspect. Now, don't forget, that's not even, that's level one glove. Level two, once we have smoldering glove, we can make the cow fang gloves. Hmm. There's even still a higher level of items. Well, let's wait. Let's wait until... Actually, do we get smoldering leather and inferno leather off of our current leather? Or are they different items altogether? They are different items altogether. Well, in that case, we can afford... I think we can certainly afford the pants. I think so. And uh, the nail gloves. Uh, well, let's take a look. Muscle is an overall better thing to have, so I'm going to do that. Yeah, I would say so. Uh, well, at least it'll sell. It will sell. Hmm. And I don't really want anything else besides that, as far as using stuff goes so I'm gonna I'm gonna come back here at a later time and get me some extra money out of that now what else is going on here and there's some forage in here I gotta get that fucking book. Now what's that lucky horseshoe? Uh, no good for our not main purpose. Nah, not good for our main purpose. I could probably make Susie real strong here. That's always good. I'm going to do some further exploration on this later, but I want to do three fights and see if that gains us anything. Ah, Susie's stronger. Oh, 
a cow skull. I do think I'm going to continue to utilize that a little bit. That's a good idea for me. Excellent. Alright, that's good. Now, what else can I do? I'm going to make a quick comparison with this map here. We have located every place on the eastern side. Proud, proud, proud. We done real good. Go team. Now, since it's the only location at the moment, we may as well check out the rail camp. Oh. Uh, Why not? Straighten the spare horseshoe. So, what happens now? Hmm. It's time. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we are well caught up here. So let's see what happens. Now, what you got there? Jelly beans? Uh, yep. Can I have one? No. Well, where'd you get them? Way south of here from a fellow's named Roy Bean. Well, thanks. Hmm. So we just got to look at a big canyon. After patting our meat. Hmm. Howdy, boss. Howdy, Mr. Smee. Stuck again? <clears throat> yep. Got ourselves one hell of a canyon to get across and no materials for bridge building. Any ideas? There's an old mine town up north called Breadwood. They went lumber camp after the mines dried up. And fix a deal with them for the lumber we need. I can handle the engineering side of things. Alright. Where is it? Of course, anything you can find to build a bridge out of is fine by me, but that seems like the simplest option. I'll see what I can do. Alright. So, let's just go. So we're going to hit Breadwood first, because that seems to be our Neo base of operations now. Hey! Howdy, Festus. Interested in trading? Always. Uh, what's up there, Susie? There's a ranch house that's playing, run by a lady named Alexandria. Not that got much hope of her still being alive. Aw, oh, gee. Come on, Susie. Keep your chin up. No, I'm fine. Long as a good stop to this. All right. New locations. Roy Bean... Alexandria Ranch. It's right down Breadwood there. All right, let's see what Sally's got. Just the carrots, carrots it looks like. Actually, there is something I can do with these carrots. And the only reason I'm really considering actually doing anything with it is because he's done a good amount for us up to now. Yes, Steve, good job. Are we not going to be allowed to give him the carrots? That's rude. Well, shit. Uh, well, I guess they'll be good for item drops if we ever decide I need them, but we're already doing pretty good on that. 
Hmm. So instead, let's continue on our original path to Breadwood. A rock hammer. What do you got for us there? Ooh, a hundred dynamite now. Oh, uh, that's no good. Yeah. The well is fucked. <coughs> Dunwich Crouton. Croissant and Edward Hall. And foraging. Well, on the upside, we are very close to getting foraging. I do believe I remember that from my previous run. Let's see the bunkhouse real quick. Master of Flushing. Hooray? <laughs> I'll take it. Well then. Okay. Alloway's pin. I feel like that's pretty important for plot, so I ain't gonna do nothing with that. Yeah. What you got to say? Hi, hey, stranger. I'm Hobart Buffer. You're what? Oh, I mean, uh, hi, Hobart. I'm a Festus Walker. Easy about the traveling sort. Mind doing a fella a favor? Well, certainly. The thing is, my only dream in life is to see an owl skeleton. That's, uh, quite a dream. I heard they've got one out at the Petting Cemetery, but... At the what? Petting Cemetery. Is, uh, that what it sounds like? Exactly what it sounds like. But see, I ain't got the meat for a ticket. Oh, you, uh, one alone? No, I got no prospects of paying it back. A camera, and I figured if you went to the cemetery, you could take a picture of their owl skeleton and bring it back to me. Sure, why not? Hey, thanks, bundle. Uh, how far down the path to hell do we go here? Uh, let's go with option one. My soul can't handle the other two. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll be back. That's fair. Yeah. All right. So. So we have also got the Petten Cemetery. And. Railroad Camp last. Uh, what else have I got? One, two, three, four. Mm. All right. Well, we still got shit to do at Breadwood. The butter and biscuit. Well, plenty of stuff to be done. In a non-threatening way. Well, well, looks like some poor son of a biscuit wandered in town. Howdy, cake sucker. Wow, jeez. Rude and baffling. Get used to it. We like our cussing here in Breadwood. Yeah, sure, fine, but cake sucker? We also like our breads and bread and products. So I've noticed. Uh. I don't get the shoes. Uh, apparently nope. not. Uh, the sign on the... Ain't got darts. Damn it. What's with the guy washing dishes? That muffin lover ran up a tab he couldn't pay off, so now he gets to wash dishes. Some of them dishes I've been saving for just such an occasion. How much does he owe? 150. I got him. You're dumber than I assume, but whatever. You can tell him he's free yourself. 
Alrighty. Genie, you're free. I paid off oh, your tab. You're free. Uh, I was just feeling charitable, I guess. Well, thanks, but I don't know how to do pretty much nothing except wash my food. Nothing at all? Well, I can also wash clothes, and I can play the washboard. That's pretty much it, though. But I know a band in Dirtwater out east. Plenty of job opportunities opening up there if you want to try your luck. All right, we went to shop. Thanks, pal. Good luck. Did you say need or need? <sighs> anyway. Oh, look at there. Look at there. Let's do it. This is a spittoon and an unusually full one. Probably best to uh, leave it alone. Fuck that noise. Let's go. Look, this ain't mom and pop's fun time family saloon. This is a dive bar in a dive town. The people who drink in here are mainly drifters and desperados. Don't go splashing around in the literal scum of the scum of the earth. I'm gonna. Seriously, don't. This is wrong and disgusting. It's vile behavior. I'm gonna. Oh, they're getting creative with the uh, character lines, too. Yeah. No, I'm not telling you. Why are you doing this to me? I had to skip lunch today because I couldn't stop thinking about you and these foul fucking spittoons. You're skipping dinner, too. La, 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 I'm not listening. You find nothing. You are the worst person in the world. La, 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 la. Too bad I found something. Like a necrotic skin disorder, I bet. Actually, it's a fucking pair of boots, Mr. Delicate Stomach. Boots. Great. Boots full of bandit spit. I hope they have to invent a whole new kind of trench foot just for you, and I hope they name it after you. Where is Gerald's my sweet new boots? Oh, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I love those moments. I love the spittoon so much. Unfortunately, I don't exactly love what these boots do compared to my current ones. They're not good for muscle. That's okay. I owe you one piano. What you playing, fellers? Pharaoh. I don't know playing. I say we did play and those cowpoke ran out of money. I gotta wonder if this is anything like president. How does it work? You get 50 meat, and then you name as many pharaohs as you can. Every time you name one, I give you 20 meat. Wait, what? If those are the rules, how did this guy lose all his money to you? He's real bad at it. Well, let's go. All right, partner. Start naming pharaohs. Tutankhamun. Everybody knows that one. What else you got? Uh, Joseph Freitas. Uh, Tatanor Patra. Then an Amsis. Ramamen Mirspot. Akunen Karbekar. Unim Munef Patra. Snefon Het Kan Kendotep. Look at this. This is just... Table slows get lost. <laughs> Thanks for the problem. <laughs> Man, we've rode his ass. <laughs> Desert eating and drinking. It is there, and it's slightly more expensive than the other way to get it, but really... That's okay. I mean, look at how much money we came in here with. Exactly, let's do it. Alright, what else we got? The rope is good. The cow punching is good. The postcard is good. We have a crowbar. Dynamite is always good. Lassoes always have their situational uses. Locks. We haven't had a monkey wrench yet. Or the mushroom pliers. 
Uh, the wet boots are good for hot resistance. I have not been doing much with the sulfur match, and we have a crowbar. Cool. Now, let's do stuff. Let's orange. Yes! Only took us like a month. I know. Well, I'll demonstrate it once, and then as part of my grind, and I'll run it through. The Breadwood Bourbon ain't bad for HP. And we can level up our cow punching. Yes, we can. So, here's what we got. We got Medicine Mood to reduce the skill of opponents. The old 1-2-3, which gives us three quick punches. And Gore to spear through a roar of them. What's your call? Let's go with Gore. Gar! 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 Crap. Eh. Alright. Alright, so I need to write down shopping in Brentwood. Because I'll need that if I decide to sleep again at any point. Which I probably will after the next round of grinds. Okay, so... I think we did good there. Let's take it outside. So. Let's take this outside and see if we can do the foraging right now. <coughs> can we grow? Yeah, I'm gonna we don't need that much more HP to get maximum foraging. I'll worry about that later, however. Here's the demonstration. <laughs> Tombstone uh, Pizza. I remember those days. You know what? I got it. Which game am I thinking of right now? I honestly don't know. Here lies Andy. Pepperoni and cheese. The old Oregon Trail. Oh god, I haven't even thought of Oregon Trail in so long. Uh, uh, that's about the minimum of muscle. That's about the minimum of muscle I'm willing to eat. Alright. We'll check out... I'm going to make a note here that we're going to check out what the mayor has to say. Bread wad mayo. Because... Sounds really bad to see your doctor now. Hmm. Because there's a new lot taken in... Oh, what do we got here? All right. Well, we got that postcard. Let's send that real quick. And that'll probably get us a package next time. The package from the last card I sent, by the way, I picked up while I was grinding. And that's what got me the haymaker. Nice. Oh. I know where he is. He is in the spittoon. Or the saloon. Oh, hey, he, he's in the what now? Uh, he, he jumped into a spittoon. I mean... Needs more cowbell. Always more cowbell. Ah, uh, now then. Alright, so let's go down what all I'm planning on doing here. So I gotta get foraging and the gore up, which is gonna be a little bit of grinding it all dead. And what else? 
the forge and run. Oh. According to my list, and I managed to miss this earlier, the Hum and Cave. Oh. There's a slot for a battery up there. Let us do that. Indeed he do, while we still have the few minutes to do so. Refreshment headwear. And that's oh, good for and that's good for a nice chunk of HP or XP too. Matter of fact, half of the amount we need in order to get us the final foraging level. And I do believe that's as far as we're going there. So let's dispense with that. And this is the Hum and Cave. Actually, you know what, with these last few minutes, why don't we take a quick little inventory of our locations, huh? I'm gonna play. And get us a couple of extra things. Ay ay ay. Um that's done. First on the list is the Stearns Ranch, and according to this, all that's left is that foraging. Oh, whisper peanut butter. Ah, we already dealt with this. How in the hell did I manage to miss this? Who knows? Well. I'm glad I'm checking things out now. One final cursory check. Before we call this location completed for good riddance. There's our foraging slot. And them cactus bits. A rather low mysticality boost. A rather of a matter of stone, dude. Yep. And that is that for Stern's Ranch. And next, Jethro. Mm, rest in peace, Jethro. Next location up is the Cavern Canyon. Oh, that's unfortunate, man. Well, let's get the ride back. Yep. All right, we did our mission of mercy. Now back to what we were doing. And we can forage for that coffee now. Yes! What's that coffee do for us? Speed up by three, it's that sweet caffeine. Anger, fire. I have come to peace with the fact that we probably not gonna get to fight that spider. Green Thumb Perk. What's that do? Oh, now we get XP from foraging. All right. I tell you what, I like that. That sounds right. done all we're doing here so cavern canyon is done all 
All right, Fort Cowardice. Uh, fix wagon, good for 15. There's our forage. If it helps, from everything I've researched, there was no way to fight this wagon. Uh, it does help, actually. I got three sets of binoculars. I may as well try them out. Fortunately, we don't lose them if it doesn't pan. Make sure we've done everything here. Nothing left there. So that's Fort Cowardice. All right, the abandoned pickle factory. Da -da 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 there. More dynamite. Tombstone, yeah. More of that tombstone pizza. Oh, hello. Hi. Pain. Pain. Again. There's a taking this job for granted. You think you're gonna find a place with a nice dormitory and a reasonably priced company store like ours somewhere else? With your skills? <laughs> We're doing three shifts today, but to get to work, you're on pickle hop for duty. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, we've done all this. Let's skip ahead here. Blah, 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 blah. Did the forage satisfied with that? Abandoned pickle factory. And the rescue mission is next. Shadow cows. Mind the mist. Oh boy. Oh no. Danger. I no. can't believe it was. It's so scary. What's scary is the fact that we're that much stronger than absolutely anything else. Divine disapproval. Hmm. Hmm. I have the money, but I think we're good enough on that kind of stuff. Where's that divine disapproval? Perk. I believe. Oh. Oh, shit. Uh. Well, that's, uh. For the minor. For the moment, it's only a minor inconvenience. Eh, well. We'll, uh, do you know what you did. Yes, I do. We'll do something about that later. Alright, so... The rescue mission... is good for shopping. Uh, we'll check out the professor's house. There's a forge to be done there for that cactus beer. And hey, we got us a floral ring. I assume that'll help us with... Yep, good. I don't have much use for that myself. Anything for us, Professor? Nothing? Okay. Alright. Uh, then let's... 
off with that. That stays on as a permanent location. I'm not overly attached to the grass sphere, but let's see what the Daveyard offers us now. If anything at all. No real need for grind. Glass Sphere Ritual. That's gonna have to stay for now, I guess. Alright. Butterfield Ranch. Tuna. Pretty good. Yeah. Don't need to do anything with them. A Brandon ring. Mysticality, but that's not a grand thing. We'll do one. Only because I could use a good speed item. But other than that, uh, where is the tainted milk? Hmm. I will worry about inventory considerations later. Butterfield Ranch is done. Do I need to do anything more with Button Willow's store, aside from just the regular old shopping? I don't mind keeping them. There is enough potential usage for it. And I don't believe there's no foraging to be done here. Nope. So now... So now I'll move that location up there to my permanence. Uh, Fort All Dead is my permanent grinding. And I found Gustavskin Gulch anyway. Let's get a quick little beat on this guy. Peach check. We have enough forage and max. Uh, the forage is inside, I believe. Check this. Nothing else, but we knew that. This is still my grounding spot. Sleep for location reveal. We'll just come naturally. The Lazy A Dude Ranch. Is this the side quest we were talking about then? Uh, nope. Alright, so make a note here Vincent for Cow's Bane. Alright. 
Loco weed extract, and we needed maximum power for this. Ah, check it out. Twice the strength of a smell and salt. Oh. Clownwort pollen. Resistance to elemental damage. All right. So we got the foraging done. Move you up to my semi-permanent. The Shaggy Dog Cave. There's the forge. As I recall, there was some kind of El Vibrato thing in here. I don't remember seeing anything visually for it. So I'll keep it as a semi-permanent location if indeed this is just nothing yet. Well, I know the end of the cave is not far from here. Indeed. All right. Not many places left to go. Keep on speeding on here. Coal Ridge Mine is where? Coal Ridge. Cactus Beer. Oh yeah, we can safe crack now. Yeah. But there's nothing there to be done. Have we done it all? Mine is done. Where is the old mission? Aha. More dynamite. I love getting more cool sticks. I like it. left it for us in the old mission. The snake pit mine. Got through the mine splaining in business. Forage. Snake Spring is not far from here. Maybe there were a couple different places. 
good. And the last touch out of mine. Lost some gin. Uh, melee damage increase of a big magnitude. Alright, and quick swap. Quick swap. I don't know why I'm doing that. We've been down there enough tonight. So the Lost Dutch I have in mind is fine. Two to go. The circus. Gustafsson Gulch. From this point on, I will take my further deliberations to dirt water first. And from there, I will plot out my grinding and everything else to be done. We got a ton of shit done and we unlocked the next region. I would say we have done a fine night's work, sir. I would agree. And it is with that that I shall say, I'm Alpha. I'm set. And until next Monday, the good Lord willing, we'll see y'all then.